Well, good afternoon everybody. It's Friday afternoon. <coughs> I finished work early. I thought bugger it. Let's go fishing. Right, we're gonna go and have a little wander. Got a weekend ago, or two weekends ago, I lost a couple of rigs down here. You'll see why when I get down here. God, talk about snaggy. <clears throat> yeah, I hope everybody's well. This weekend is going to be a bit breezy, a bit showery. Uh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry about the wind if you can hear it. I know it's irritating, but not a lot I can do about it, I'm afraid. Other than put the old wind sock on. But at the moment, it's not too bad. Right then. Got to be a bit careful out here. It's a little bit uh, <laughs> dodgy underfoot, let's put it like that. Right, no then. Let's see if we can get out here first. Whoa. Yeah, right, um, right, I was casting out towards that rock over there, casting beyond the rock onto the, uh, onto the sand. But, um, oh, no, blimey. Oh, yeah. I know a few others have been fishing here since, so. Unless they've been down and collected the tackle. <laughs> you never know, do you? God, what lovely ground for bass and eels and stuff, eh? Look at this. Amazing. Well, it's not too bad on the foot. A bit muddy in places, but it's not too bad. Let's get out here and see if we can find this tackle. I very much doubt it because uh, a lot of people come down here on these reefs poking around looking for crabs, etc. etc. Yeah, quite you can see why the fish like it here, can't you? Look at it, loads of mud over there. Yeah. Actually, that's giving me a good idea. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta be a bit careful. It's quite a high tide tonight. So, uh, I'm gonna be pushed up against the cliffs as usual. I'm only fishing the high, I'm not fishing the low. Yeah. Gonna have a bit of a rest here. Oh, sorry about this. This tripod's a right pain in the neck. Look at this though. Cool, you could fish off here quite happily, couldn't you? Look at that. Ah, now it all makes sense. Right, okay. Let's press on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. I was casting beyond this. Way beyond this. Yeah. Tide's pushing in, as you can see. I know there's a couple of reefs out here, but um, it's, it's kind of broken ground out this bit, right in front of me anyway. Yeah, that's a fair old cast, isn't it, from the tree? Right over here. That is a fair old cast. Okay, right. Well, I don't think I'm going to find these, uh, oh, these legs. Yeah. But anyway, oh yeah, the sea's pushing right in now. This is where you've got to be careful. You will get cut off. You don't want to be out here. Come on, you old bugger, get on with it. <coughs> right, let's, uh, let's just whip around here a minute. Oh, you can see why the fish love it, can't you? Hey, look at that. 
amazing, lovely. Uh, yeah, the only place I could fish tonight is where my taco is up there. That's the only place I could fish. I'm gonna be pinned up against the cliff as it is. Yeah, okay, right, well, yeah. Word of advice for you, gentlemen, or ladies and gentlemen. If you go to fish a mark like this, come down and have a look on low tide. You'll get a good idea of what you're fishing on. That is some deep mud there, I can tell you. Really deep mud. Tide's pushing in. God, this would be a nice little mark. Why? I never looked at this before. All right. Don't take my word for it. Don't come down here, it's dangerous. Come down here with somebody that knows the place, for Christ's sake. Right, yo. Right, I should bring it back. I'm gonna get on back to the tackle. The tide's pushing in real quick. It won't be long before we're fishing, so uh, I'm gonna go and get things set up here. Radio, we should bring it back in a bit. Bit that come in quick here, doesn't it? Hey. Well, both rods are set up now. They're both fishing. One's out there on the reefs. The other one's out there on the sand. Yeah, well. Uh, See what happens now. Whew. Well, I've had a nice break after walking about all the reefs. Yeah, had some sausage rolls and a nice sandwich. Yeah, feel much better now. Yeah. Anyway, we're here. We're fishing. The wind's not too bad around this bit. Looks like we might have a bit of, bit of rain or something. Maybe a shower. No idea what's going to happen. Anyway, I shall bring you back if there's anything to report. We're about two and a quarter hours before, two, two and a quarter, two and a half hours before high tide. Let's see what happens. I'll bring you back. Left hand rod. Take around the other side. Sorry about the wind if you can hear it. I think I missed it. <laughs> oh dear.
Ja, det var stopping on nu. Det är en baby conger. Woo! He's back in there now anyway. Right, I shall bring it back. Let's get this baited up and get it back out. Well, just a quick update for you. It's hour and a half before high, high water now. I'm cut off as usual. <laughs> oh dear. And the sea is uh, a galloping in like a racehorse. Anyway, mods today. Central fire blades. Rigs, pulley panels, one short, one long, one with squid, one with ragworm. Yeah, do you know I was looking around here just now. And look at this. Uh, I don't know where you can see that down through there, but there's a girt crack and crack developed. Let's just hope it don't fall tonight because I haven't really got a lot of room. Something else to be aware of when you're in places like this. Oh no. Not a bloody bite, surely. Hang on a minute. Been getting bites, loads of bites all the time. It's pretty wicked. Yeah, another thing to be aware of uh, when you're fishing these places, when you're a bit tight for room, the cliffs behind you, look. Bit dodgy in it, really, but you know. That's how we roll, baby. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. That looks like a pretty eel, doesn't it? Let's just see if he's still there, isn't it? That squid on this rod, though. Because it's out on the reefs. More likely it's going to be a deal. I'm quite sure it'll let me know. Whew. Yeah, the wind's calm down now, which is good. Well, the sky looks a bit threatening though, doesn't it? Right, is this going to come back or is he just going to play with it? Oh no, he's, he's there. Yeah. <laughs> and then I miss it. <laughs> oh, God. This could be one of those nights. I can see it coming. Yeah, I guess so. Right. Oh, look at that. That bait has only been out there for a couple of minutes. Look at that though. Totally strip. Blimey. Okay. 
I should get this rebated, get it back out. I'll bring you back. Oh, well, I think I might have hooked something. I don't know what it is, but... There you go. Don't go to sleep. What's the matter with you? Look at that. Ah, uh, nice little doggy. He's a bit shy. He don't want to talk to us, but there you go. Right, let's get him back in anyway. That's it. You don't want a doggy now. Right, I shall bring you back. In a minute. There's another dogfish. <laughs> I'll tell you what, these dogfish have been eating well. The girl fat belly on it. Yeah. What are you? Right, let's get him off, get him back in. I'll bring him back. Another dogfish. He's a baby one this time. Right, mate. Right. I shall bring you back. Again. Oh, come on, then. Oh, I don't know. Fish, eh? Kick the mud stand over them. Yeah, it feels like a little trouble. Again. I don't know what number this is. 11, 12. Come here, you. Another dolphin. Boy, let's get him off. Get him back in. 
Oh, she'll bring you back. Well, there's another one. I also have one on the right hand rod as well. So no baits in the water again. I think that's number 18. That'll give you an idea on how busy it's been. <laughs> I'll tell you what's good exercise though, I'll tell you. <coughs> I think this one's <coughs> trying to bark. Go on, mate. <laughs> right, let's get him back in. I shall bring you back. Right hand rod again. Right hand, left hand. <laughs> oh man. Well, we're on dogfish number 19 now, so let's see if we can make 25. Sure. <coughs> Here, doggy, doggy. Here, boy. Come on. I'll tell you what, it's good exercise. Woof, woof. Come on, boy. Come by here, then. That's it. Come on, boy. Oh, shit. That's fucking bad. Then he pulled the ball rest over. Oh, yeah. This feels like a doggy. So good. Never dog fish. Excuse me a minute. Oh, no, look at that. There's another one. What's this? 19 or 20? I can't remember. Whew. And the right hand rod's going as well. Let's just put this one back in. What's going on with the right hand rod then? Oh yeah. Another bobby.
you up. They're actually giving me army. The current is so strong here. No matter what you catch, it feels huge. <laughs> Okay, right, well, he's settled down, right? The right hand rod, the one that's out there getting the bites, is uh, double sand deal. Rightio, I shall bring you back. Left hand rod again. The bike looked a bit different than a doggy, so that's why I bought you back. But now I'm kind of thinking, yeah, it's a dog. It's 8.39. That's about just over an hour after high water. But look how far it's gone down. Though. Look at that. Comes in real quick and goes out real quick. Mm. The wind's dropped right down to nothing, which is really nice. Won't be long before it starts getting dark though, I suppose. No sunset tonight because we ain't gonna be able to see it. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Night on the dogs. That sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? Anyway, if something happens other than the dogfish, I shall bring you back. We're up at uh, 20 dogfish now. And one eel. <laughs> right, I'll bring you back. Guess what? <coughs> Number 21. <laughs> Blimey, there must be hundreds of these out there. I've just noticed he's got a little nick on his back. Something must have attacked him. But there you go. Right, let's get him back in. I should bring you back. We've got the tip lights on now, so... Nearly coming to the end of the session now. This could be number 25 top fish. <laughs> that bait's only been out there for a couple of minutes. It's slowed down a bit now, thank goodness. Yeah. <coughs> I still can't get out of here for a while. Huh? Oh, oh. Yeah. 
feels like another body. <laughs> Maybe. Look at that. It's a little baby. There you go. Look at that. Nice little specimen. Hmm. Rodeo, he's got a bit of a bleed, so let's get him back in. Right, I shall bring you back. I think that's number 24 or 25. Not really sure. I've had enough now to be honest. <laughs> but I just can't get out, so I just will carry on fishing. You never know, dear. Right, I'll bring you back. Right hand rod. What a humdinger of a bite that was. I'm surprised how warm it is still. Yeah, anyway, it's uh, getting to that time where. I'm going to start packing up. I can just about get around the headland now. So I can get out of here. Well, it's been a right old dog fest, I've got to say. <laughs> been good fun, really. Yeah, it's been very, very, very busy. Look at this. Look at this rod. Yeah, oh, man. Look at it. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's been busy. Rightio, well, I'm going to see what this uh, this fish is going to do. Looks like a dogfish anyway. 25 plus dogfish. Huh, this looks like it could be another one. Yeah. It certainly has been a, it's certainly been a busy evening. One conger reel. Within the first five minutes of me casting out. That was, uh, that was pretty good going. Okay, well, if you don't hear anything back from me now, I wish everybody all the best and uh, I should be out again tomorrow. I'm going to have to get some more worm though because uh, that's all gone. <laughs> oh dear. Rightio, take care all. And uh, it's been a good old session really. I hope everybody can get out fishing sometime over this weekend anyway. Take care all. We'll see you again probably tomorrow. Maybe Sunday. I don't really know. Take care all. Cheerio.